if I talk about internal audit, you know, it has its own uh, area of scope and uh, it requires specialization to some extent. Again, depends on the industry in which uh, you're auditing. Hello to all the viewers out there. My name is Dweet Mehta. I am an Indian Chartered Accountant and a Canadian CPA. I have a Bachelor of Commerce and Bachelor of Law degrees. I moved to Canada in September 2015, uh, more than six years back, uh, and currently I'm working with the Duca Credit Union as a senior internal auditor. Sure, yeah, there, there are uh, ample opportunities in the field of auditing, uh, be it external audit or internal audit. Uh, it's definitely a good career to pursue in Canada with a great scope and a good career growth. The public accounting firms or the CPA firms, they're always looking to hire uh, suitable candidates, uh, particularly for external audit. So every year, people move ahead in their career path, uh, you know, creating opportunities for others to take their place. Uh, the requirement for an auditor uh, is never going to be stagnant mm -hmm. uh, just because businesses need to get their financial statements audited periodically, uh, either as a regulatory requirement or any other purposes. And uh, the people working in the public accounting firms within the external audit department, they have a great chance of uh, getting hired in the accounting or finance teams of uh, corporations, particularly the ones that they have audited. Mm -hmm. The reason being, these auditors would have gained, you know, detailed knowledge of how the company functions, about its operations, policies, processes, procedures, you know, so, so these companies would prefer hiring someone who already knows about the company rather than providing training to somebody new. Exactly. And uh, if I talk about internal audit, you know, it has its own uh, area of scope and uh, it requires specialization to some extent. Again, depends on the industry in which uh, you're auditing. Uh, the demand for IT auditors, that has been on the rise and uh, people with IT auditing experience stand a higher chance of uh, getting selected. Just because, you know, that's the need of the R uh, in today's terms. <clears throat> uh, let's talk about the certifications because, you know, I personally feel that it's something that can add value to your professional growth rate. And uh, obviously it will give you some knowledge as well. It's just not to, uh, for a sake of getting certification, but it's mainly depend, uh, it's all about the, uh, the knowledge you get, right? Um, so if you can tell us about uh, the certifications, uh, you know, in this particular field. Sure, yeah. Like, like I mentioned, right, uh, CPA, the Chartered Professional Accountant, is, is a must-have for someone who intends to grow in accounting or aud auditing career uh, in Canada. And then depending on the field of work, uh, one may be required to pursue other certifications or uh, professional designations. Like, for example, the Certified Internal Auditor, the CIA, which is uh, for Internal Audit, the Certified Information Systems Auditor, the CISA, which is for IT audits, uh, Certified Fraud Examiner, CFE, Certified Anti-Money Laundering Specialist, the CAMS, for uh, someone who's working in the AML uh, area. Right. And uh, there's another, you know, very niche uh, profile of uh, a Certified Information Privacy Professional. CIPP, who, who is for someone who is working in the privacy department uh, of a company. So, so there are quite a few more certifications which, uh, which people can pursue, again, depending if they're working in the banking industry or if someone working in the manufacturing industry. But me being from a financial services uh, uh, industry background, you know, these are some certifications <clears throat> which I would like to pursue uh, myself. But obviously, it's a long way to go. Uh, need to finish my CIA first, but these are these are definitely some uh, specializations which which employers are looking uh, in candidates, and uh, I would definitely encourage people. You know, if if you if you really into IT audits and you have haven't done your CISA, I would definitely encourage you to you know go for it and get it done even before coming to Canada. That that's going to help you a lot. Uh, you know, carry carry a lot of weightage on your resume. Great. And just to uh, make sure, right, uh, and please help me out here if I'm wrong, uh, that certification is one of the factors that will help you landing a job, right? It's not the only factor, right? I mean, like you need to have other skills as well, like your communication, your knowledge, you know, how you present yourself. So I know, because I know a lot of people when I talk to them, they think like getting a certification will be like, okay, I'll get a job right, right away. But that's not a fact, right? I mean, we personally uh, believe that it's, it's something that will help you. 
but it's not the the only thing that will help you right yeah that's that's true like on, on your resume it it looks good but then when you actually meet someone it's it all depends on how you present yourself exactly so like you said communication presentation those all really matter the soft skills are really really important here yeah, for sure wonderful uh, all right uh, dweep thank you so much for all the information i was such a pleasure to have someone like you with so much uh, experience and uh, knowledge and still you're a very humble person uh, i wish you all the best and uh, again uh, thank you so much no thank you so much for having it was a pleasure uh, being here and uh, thank you so, so much for inviting me and uh, i hope all the viewers uh, you know they they like what i said <laughs> great things have definitely changed since since i came because employers have started to recognize uh, indian cas and they treat them as a equivalent cpa equivalents and and the amount of respect the indian cas are getting is definitely increasing